Astrophotography is a hobby that I've been interested in my entire life, but unfortunately I haven't really had the chance to seriously pursue it up until about a year and a half ago. And I'm very proud to announce now that I made a huge step forward in that hobby. Welcome back everyone to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe down below because I have some really big things coming to the channel here really soon. But yeah, as you can see, I've made a pretty significant upgrade here. This is the William Optics Z61 telescope. It's the newer model. It has the new uh, batten off mask that came on the end of it. And also went ahead and also got the uh, adjustable flat 61 field flattener for the Z61 telescope. So you could say that my images are about to take a huge, huge dramatic increase in quality and I'm really excited to get started with it. Yeah, the William Optics Z61 is an absolutely beautiful doublet apochromatic refractor telescope. And I've been thinking about the William Optics line of telescopes for a very long time now. And I'm glad I finally pulled the trigger on this one. And also went with the flat 61 adjustable field flattener to get the most out of the scope here. And of course, as always, I got my Canon T3i attached to it. Some other stats about the Z61 scope, it's a f5.9, so it's actually faster than what I've been shooting with with the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens. And also the focal length on it is 330 millimeters, but since I'm shooting through a crop sensor camera, you multiply that by 1.6, giving me 576 millimeter focal length. So that's going to take us in even closer to our deep sky objects, closer than I ever have been before. And I'm excited to see what this thing can get. All right, I had to come inside. The wind was really starting to pick up outside. So I've actually also had to upgrade my counterweight here since I've upgraded my payload, obviously. I went with the iOptron two kilogram counterweight, which I think comes out to roughly about four and a half pounds. And overall, I've weighed everything up here and it comes out to just over six pounds. So this counterweight seems to do the job pretty well, as you can see. But my only issue is I think I'm starting to approach the upper limits or probably surpassing them at this point of the Skywalker Star Adventure. And that also brings me to last night. So last night I had everything set up. I actually used the batten off mask for the first time which was absolutely amazing. I'm really excited to start using that. And uh, so I had everything set up. I was even filming. I was going to start, I was going to start getting some shots on Boat's Galaxy. And everything was going good until I got to the polar alignment process. And as you can see, this tripod here is pretty low to the ground, so I usually at least have it up on like the second extension, if you will. And during the polar alignment process, the whole setup just dropped out of nowhere to one side. Fortunately, it didn't fall over and damage any of my gear, but it still really scared me. I tried to go back and fix it. I tried to tighten my legs back up, and they just wouldn't tighten back up. And as you can see, it's just way too low here for me to try and get down to accurately polar align this thing. So I'm guessing I've just put, got too much weight on this tripod at this point and it's just giving away. And I can't complain about this because I paid $5 for this tripod at Goodwill and it's been absolutely fantastic. So it's definitely time to, for me to make some upgrades it seems like. And as I was saying earlier, astrophotography is something I'm really wanting to get into. So I'm looking for a pretty serious mount upgrade at this point. So don't get me wrong, I still absolutely love the Skywatcher Star Adventure for what it is, and that is a entry level star tracker. It's not meant for serious astrophotography by any means. And with this setup here, I'm really going to be pushing it, I think, far too much. I'm going to be beating my head against the wall more than I am getting good results. So I think it's time for me to probably invest in a much more serious astrophotography setup. I'm either going to go one of two routes, and I'm not sure which one yet. I'm thinking either one, the Skywatcher, the new Skywatcher EQ35 mount, which is a little bit more budget friendly, or I may go all the way and shoot for the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro, which is a very serious mount indeed. The reason I'm also thinking about the Pro is because that Pro is going to, I'm not going to outgrow it pretty much. If I did end up with that mount, I could upgrade from this telescope you know, to another one and the Pro is going to handle it really well. And then the reason I'm leaning towards the new EQ35 is, well for one, it's cheaper and two, 
it seems a little bit more well suited for a lighter rig like this. So each each mount really has its trade-offs. The EQ35 is probably a little little over half the price of the EQ6R Pro. One thing I know for sure, whichever direction I go, I'll be happy with the choice because it's just going to be much easier in the long run for me using this setup on that new mount instead of trying to use this again. Now I'm going to be keeping my Star Adventure here because I absolutely love this little thing as a Star Tracker. Wide foot astrophotography is something that I've been wanting to get into for a long time and this is the perfect setup for that. So now I'm looking into having two different setups, a wide field and more of a deep sky setup. So thank you guys so, so much for sticking around with me. I actually woke up this morning 375 subscribers on the channel, which I, I still can't get over. That just totally made my day right there. It just, it really, truly makes me happy knowing that there's that many of you guys out there that's just interested in my passions here. And thank you all so much for sticking around. As for storm chasing content, I've been trying to work on some. It's just kind of hard to do it working a nine to five job Monday through Friday. But as storms do start rolling through here a little bit more here, here during the spring, I'm going to do my best to get out there and bring, bring you guys what I can. As for astro photography content, again, last night I was working on Boat's Galaxy and then the tripod incident happened. So just bear with me. But just be sure to stick around because I've got some huge, huge things coming to the channel once I get this mount upgraded. I'm just so excited to see, to see what we can actually do here. It's a great feeling, having something to look forward to. So thank you guys so, so much for sticking around with me and for tuning in today. Again, if you haven't, please be sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy.